Hi. Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So everything's all right, everything's turned itself right around. China's had two days now of massive gains. Chinese stock market's up 6%. The Greece problem apparently solved. Debt restructuring has been suggested by Germany to aid them. New proposals have been sent across. Massive exuberance in the markets. But uh, I don't expect for one second that uh, everything is in fact all solved, as uh, as some commentators and analysts out there would, would say. But certainly, if you have a look at the candlestick formations, real weird day, weird day yesterday, a mirror image of what we had there on Tuesday, uh, sell towards the end of the day. We've shot right back up this morning. Uh, European stock market has just opened up with the German DAX up almost uh, two and three quarter of a percent. Uh, as uh, that kind of exuberance from, from China and the possible Greek deal. New proposals gone, c come through, seem to be taken uh, quite positive by the market. So, um, 17,747 is the next potential resistance on the US 30. So, jumping on to the UK 100, you can see that kind of massive jump we had there near 64.15, smashing through 65.89, and in fact, getting close to 66.86 and the 21 period SMA. Bullish cross on a MACD. Still relatively neutral on the RSI and the slow stochastic, indicating that there's still further room for further um, upwards momentum. Uh, the UK market currently is up a good couple of percent, well, 1.64 percent just now, um, <clears throat> and it's still looking relatively strong. Oh, just a little bit off at session highs, uh, hit to by two resistance aspects: 21 period SMA and 66.86. So moving on to Japan, 225, uh, two decent decent moves, very volatile day yesterday again, off the session highs, closing in on 20 spot 87, but obviously there is a little bit of sell interest. It is a Friday as well, uh, and the uh, debt deal restructure is not really going to come into full play until um, Sunday when the Eurozone partners vote on if they think this, uh, this proposal is going to go through. So I could really imagine towards the end of the day you're going to get this big push up and I guess there's a, there's a risk that there might be a little bit of a sell-off as some traders show their position before the weekend because they want to see but then again you are going to get some traders out there who are going to take a bet on you know this is going to be it so uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, towards the end of the session uh, if the if the speculators are going to kind of wrestle control or if people are going to be a little bit uh, more cautious as to what the end result might be but certainly this morning people are taking the proposals that Greece have, has submitted and the fact that Germany has even mentioned medium term debt restructuring as a major positive. So looking at dollar yen, dollar yen's had um, two days of, of advancement, uh, just bashing up against a 55 period SMA, 121.87 is potential resistance, um, other technicals are pretty neutral. There's not very much economic data due out date either to be honest. Um, and the, the, the Greek proposal got submitted last night, so nothing to get excited about there. And it's Sunday that the Eurozone partners will be uh, deciding on acceptance of that or not. Monday, not a lot happening. Obviously, you'll get the result of um, <clears throat> of the Greek proposals. But then Tuesday is when you begin to get a little bit more action in the macro data front with a whole host of, uh, of, of PPI and retail uh, and RPI coming out of the UK, industrial production in the Eurozone and retail sales from the US. So it's not until Tuesday that you get something decent. So moving on to Crude Oil West Texas, uh, we've had two two up days now. Um, still a good bit away from potential resistance at 54.85. Technicals, you've got a buy signal on the RSI and the slam with the slow stochastic. You're up towards the top end of this range so far today on West Texas. Um, but we are good, we are a decent bit away from 54.85, which is the next potential resistance level. So uh, probably not a lot to do in West Texas today. Looking at gold, again, it's not really doing a huge amount. Um, really weird candles. Doesn't really quite know what it's doing. It's grinding up a little bit higher, but um, not really that exciting, if I'm completely honest. Moving on to uh, euro dollar. Um, this is interesting, more interesting. One spot 11 is the potential resistance, and that's been in play all of this week. We've almost got a death cross there on the moving averages. Uh, Euro dollar not getting that much huge positive momentum at the Greek proposals, but um, we are seeing a slowing of the uh, negative MACD histogram right here. That might be a bullish crossover, but um, we'll see if that pans out. But the long the candles uh, yesterday and already today, we're off the session lows. It's probably indicative of the fact that there are there is selling interest around about one spot 11. Moving on to GBP USD to finish things up. Uh, we're still on the wrong side, one spot 54.24, which is the potential resistance level. We touched it yesterday, we touched it again today. The, the MACD crossed the zero line, uh, and we are not yet oversold with the RSI and Slotacast, but we will be soon. Um, 
but uh, this will be the level to watch. One spot, 54, 24, um, unable to break through yesterday's. Had a, a little stab at it today, failed again, um, but I think that's the level if you're interested in trading uh, cable, this is where you want to be looking. Um, so as ever guys, uh, keep your eye on the chart forum, uh, if there's any more updates about Greece, uh, check Insights, our global analyst team will be updating this regularly uh, throughout the session, and remember that this weekend could be relatively volatile, um, well when we open again on Sunday night, could be relatively, relatively volatile, and just because you know things look good right now, just bear in mind there is always the risk that the deal doesn't uh, quite add up for all of the Eurozone partners, so don't just assume that it's definitely going to go ahead, do your research, have a good think, and join us again on Monday to find out what happened next.